Virtual Natives, How a New Generation is Revolutionizing the Future of Work, Play, and Culture, by Catherine D. Henry explores the profound impact that the first generation raised in a digital world, known as virtual natives, is having on various aspects of societal development, including professional landscapes, leisure activities, and cultural norms. The book delves into how these individuals, who have grown up with the internet, social media, and mobile technology as integral parts of their lives, are redefining traditional paradigms and creating new opportunities and challenges as they interact with and shape the world around them. The beginning of the book sets the stage by defining who the virtual natives are, a diverse cohort born into an age where digital technology is ubiquitous. Unlike previous generations who adapted to technology as it emerged, virtual natives have an intuitive understanding and comfort with digital tools and platforms, which they leverage to navigate their daily lives. Henry notes that this generational shift has significant implications for how we think about education, career development, and social structures. In the realm of work, the author examines how virtual natives are transforming the workforce and challenging conventional career paths. They are more inclined to seek flexible work arrangements, value purpose and impact over job stability, and often pursue multiple income streams, including freelance and gig work, which contrasts with the single career trajectory that defined their parents' generation. This flexibility is enabled by digital platforms that allow for remote collaboration, project-based employment, and global opportunities, which are increasingly becoming the norm. The concept of play is also rapidly evolving as virtual natives blend their digital and physical lives. Henry describes how gaming communities, virtual reality, and augmented reality experiences are not just forms of escape, but have become platforms for social interaction, creativity, and self-expression. Virtual natives are using these environments to build relationships, experiment with identities, and develop skills that are transferable to real-world scenarios. The author emphasizes that what might be dismissed as leisure or entertainment by older generations is often a space for growth and learning for virtual natives. Culturally, the influence of virtual natives is characterized by a shift towards a more democratized and participatory landscape. With access to tools that enable content creation and distribution, individuals can be both consumers and producers of media blurring the lines between professional and amateur. Henry notes a growing trend in user-generated content, crowdsourced innovation, and social-driven movements that are redefining cultural norms and narratives. Virtual natives are at the forefront of these trends, championing inclusivity, diversity, and a more horizontal structure in the dissemination of information and cultural production. However, the book does not shy away from addressing the challenges and controversies that arise from the digital behaviors and expectations of virtual natives. Issues such as data privacy, screen addiction, cyberbullying, and the digital divide are critical concerns that Henry examines. Virtual natives' reliance on digital tools for work, play, and culture comes with a need for increased awareness and governance around digital rights and responsibilities. The author calls for a balanced approach that navigates these pitfalls while nurturing the innovation and potential that virtual natives bring to the table. Moreover, Henry discusses the educational implications of the rise of virtual natives. Traditional educational models, characterized by their one-size-fits-all approach and focus on memorization and standardized testing, are being challenged by alternative and personalized learning experiences that leverage technology. Virtual natives are accustomed to interactive, on-demand learning resources, such as online courses, educational apps, and video tutorials that cater to their individual learning styles. The author advocates for a reimagining of educational systems that aligns with the realities of digital interconnectedness and equips young people with the skills needed for a technology-driven future. In the corporate sphere, the influence of virtual natives can be seen in the changing dynamics of organizational culture and leadership. Younger generations are pushing for flatter hierarchies, transparency, and a greater focus on social responsibility within companies. There's a call for leaders who can engage with digital tools to foster collaboration and innovation, and who value employee well-being and professional growth. 
Henry posits that organizations that fail to adapt to these expectations risk being left behind in the race for talent retention and organizational agility. The book also delves into the notion of identity in the digital age, a complex issue for virtual natives. Henry discusses how online personas, social media presence, and the digital footprint are integral parts of an individual's identity, offering both empowerment and challenges. Virtual natives can explore different facets of their identity in virtual spaces, but they must also navigate the pressures of self-presentation and the permanence of their digital actions. This reality demands a nuanced understanding of privacy, reputation management, and the psychological effects of digital identity on well-being. Henry's exploration of the virtual native's impact on culture includes the effects on consumer behavior and marketing practices. The shift towards digital and mobile mediums has led to new forms of advertising and brand engagement. Virtual natives demand authenticity, personalization, and shared values from the brands they support. The ability to participate in brand narratives through social media, influencer marketing, and viral content reflects the participatory nature of virtual native culture. In the final sections of the book, Henry offers insights into the future shaped by virtual natives. She predicts a continued evolution in how we approach collaboration, innovation, and social change. The cross-pollination of ideas enabled by digital connectivity and the virtual native's propensity for network thinking may lead to solutions for some of the world's most pressing problems. However, this potential is contingent upon our ability to foster an inclusive digital ecosystem that mitigates inequalities and empowers all individuals. To conclude, Virtual Natives presents a comprehensive examination of the ways in which virtual natives are revolutionizing the landscape of work, play, and culture. Catherine D. Henry paints a portrait of a generation that is both a product of and a driving force in the digital world, emphasizing the need to embrace change while thoughtfully addressing the challenges inherent in our digital age. The book serves as a guide for understanding the dynamics at play and a call to action for adapting to a future where the virtual and physical increasingly converge. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.